Hey guys, this is Oscar doing another weekend project. Today I'm going to show you something simple, easy, and fixable. We're going to change the upper bar joints on this 1996 Toyota T100. Um, so, first thing first, let's go ahead and jack up the baby, get the tires off, and go from there. Enjoy, guys. Alright, guys, once you have your truck on jack stands, let's go ahead and remove the tire real quick. If you have your hub, small caps. Gonna remove these gently, pry them off gently because they could literally break. There we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove the tire, the rim. And you can actually use your little hubcap to put them in. Alright guys, so the next step, in order for us to remove the, uh, ball, the top ball joint, pretty easy. Um, this is your ball joint here. Uh, it's basically connected to your upper control arm. I believe these are 12 millimeter um, nuts. And I think last time I had to put these upside down. I forgot why, but I'll figure it out right now. But we're going to go ahead and uh, remove these. Uh, but before we do, okay, guys, so the first thing we're going to do, um, I'm going to go ahead and remove the top nut for the shock. Uh, front shock just because when I start removing these uh, bolts um, I want to be able to push down on the actual lower control arm so that way I can um, once I loosen these bolts I can uh, remove the uh, upper bar joint so what I'm doing right now I'm basically placing a, a floor jack and then I'm just putting like a little 4x4 four four here so it can support uh, the lower control arm and I'm just going to go ahead and raise it just a little bit not a whole lot just so I get a uh, so when I start taking the the actual um, nut from the shock I don't fight the actual nut it's just gonna come out smoothly I'll show you right now what I'm talking about so let me go ahead and uh, fix this jack real quick and then uh, we'll continue all right guys so now that you have your jack uh, uh, supporting the lower control arm here um, and again I did this so that way uh, when I start taking out the uh, top uh, bolt on the front shock I don't get that pushback from the actual control arm at the bottom so let's go ahead and do that here real quick let's go ahead and remove the front shock pretty easy you're just gonna need a crescent wrench this is a six uh, inch crescent wrench and here on the top of the actual uh, shock you have a little um, key there so we can I could hold it with my wrench and then I'm just going to go ahead and put a um, 14 this is a 14 millimeter nut and I'm just going to go ahead and start turning it until it comes out so let me go and do that real quick and there we go and again this is this is the first step we're going to do to remove uh, these components and again um, you see how easy the nuts coming out and that's because I'm supporting the lower control arm and it doesn't have all that pressure uh, built into it so it's coming loose this will be much easier and I think the rest I can do it by hand let me see here okay it's not that tight but uh, I still need to uh, make sure it comes up so let me go ahead and uh, completely remove this uh, nut and then we're going to go ahead and take out the bottom bolt of that nut. Uh, bear with me. I think I'm almost done here. So we've got a couple more threads. There we go. You guys go better close up there. That should just come out all the way. Alright, we're going to get take out these bushings like so and put this here on the side all right so now that we remove the top um, nut from the shock 
we're gonna go ahead and remove this bottom um, oh before we even do that let's go ahead and also um, remove these uh, nuts this is for the um, upper bar joint so let's go ahead and get that down here real quick okay guys so the next step we're gonna go and remove uh, these four um, 12 millimeter uh, nuts this one's upside down I have no idea why it's upside down so we're gonna go ahead and uh, I guess try to take it out from underneath but again uh, these should be all the same like this so they're gonna be 12 millimeter bolts just gonna remove that real quick Uh, okay, so I guess uh, when I'm when I'm turning it, it's spinning from the bottom. So let me go ahead and get a socket that would fit at the bottom, so that we can remove this. Um, give me one second. All right, guys. So since I started to remove this 12 millimeter uh, nut, I kept on spinning and spinning. It's because the bottom um, bolt needs to be held on. So I'm going to use a 13 millimeter uh, deep socket. And basically, what I'm doing, I'm just putting it. Up here to support it there we go and then that's gonna allow me to remove the actual nut so I'm gonna do that Bear with me there we go So, see how we have a washer and a nut, and then once I remove the socket, I can remove the actual nut. So again, all I'm doing at the bottom, I'm just supporting this in here, and then this is just basically, I'm from the top, I'm just removing this 12 millimeter uh, nut. And again, this is 13 millimeter. So let me go and do that for the rest, and then we'll come back. All right, guys. Here's a tip for the back uh, nut. You will need a 13 millimeter uh, wrench, and that's because it's going to give you enough uh, leverage, and also it's going to be thin enough to put it at the bottom, so that we can remove the top, the bottom nuts on this upper con uh, upper ball joint. I tried to do it with the deep socket, but it wasn't working. That's just one tip I wanted to kind of give you. Use the 13 millimeter wrench. All right, guys. So now, I, since I removed the um, all the bolts except for this one, just because it's hitting underneath here, um, I'm gonna go ahead and lower this floor jack so that way the lower control arm could uh, come down a little bit. You'll see right now. All right, there we go. And as you saw. Um, in order for us to remove this uh, upper ball joint, I gotta take out this last one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the tire to, all the way to the right, so that way I can uh, maneuver a socket or a wrench to get this last um, bolt out. Okay, let me do that real quick. All right, guys. So once you remove uh, the four 12 millimeter uh, nuts from the upper uh, ball joint, um, all we're gonna do, we're just gonna go ahead and push. Uh, the actual uh, steering knuckle down so we can free the actual ball joint here let me show you, you guys give you a better angle basically um, remember how we took out that nut on top of the um, front shock right there that's because it's allowing us to push this down otherwise you'll kind of have difficulties taking this out so let me go ahead and uh, continue real quick and show you the next step. All right, guys. And again, you just push down to get it out of the uh, upper control arm, and this is how you're gonna do it. Just put your two hands. Just be careful not to bite yourself uh, with the metal on the top here. We're just gonna push it downwards and push it this way. Here, let me show you. Okay, there we go. And this is how you remove um, ball joint top ball joint and again don't forget we have to take out this um, castle nut here at the bottom let's see if I give you a better angle all right guys this is actually a 24 millimeter uh, castle nut so I'm gonna use a 24 millimeter 
wrench. I'm just going to place it here. I'm just going to go ahead and turn it to loosen it up. So I'm going to do that real quick. Alright guys, once you take out uh, this 24 millimeter uh, nut, basically, I'm just going to go and spin it out once you take it out with the wrench. And again, if you're only replacing the ball joint, all you would do is just tap it here with the hammer and this should come off. Um, or if you have a um, if you have a ball joint uh, remover puller, you could also do that as well, whatever you have in your arson. But today, I'm just going to go ahead and hammer it down here, hit it with the hammer so it can come off. And again, you can hit it here or you could also hit it there, either way. Okay, so go ahead and do that. And again, if you're just replacing this, and this is the reason why I'm replacing this, it, just because it's so wobbly. Uh, but if you're just replacing this, then you just get the new one, you put it back on, you put the um, the, the nut back in and I'll put the specs on the video um, I'll put it right here on the screen so you can see how much is the torque for this okay and then again you just put it back in reverse order just push this down and you put it in there and I'll put the specs on how tight these uh, nuts should be okay but since we're doing a little bit more uh, we're gonna continue with this process so let me go remo remove this real quick and I'll be back all right guys let me show you how easy it is to remove this uh, Again, I'm using a four pound um, sledgehammer here. So I'm just gonna hit it right there. Just be careful, the brake lines there, so you don't wanna uh, push it a lot. So let me see if I give a couple hits. Uh, there we go. And again, this is your uh, bod, upper bod joint. And again, if you're just installing this, it's reverse order, just put this back, torque it to, to your uh, uh, truck specs, and then put it back in. So we're going to continue um, for the next process. It's just another way I wanted to show you guys.